Hi everyone, it's Melissa from MVK Beauty and today I'm filming this video for you all just to explain what the Fierce Workout is and how it came to be. Just to start off on how the Fierce Workout ever happened, it all started on January 27th. It was my sister's 19th birthday and we went and we surprised her to this class called the Vixen Workout that was referred to us from my mom's friend Laura who goes to the workout almost every single day and she said it is the most amazing time of your life because you're pretty much just dancing and you're booty shaking and you're just having an awesome time with only girls. So we figured since my sister is so shy and never dances, we wanted to surprise her and take her there. So we blindfolded her and drove all the way to Miami and to go to this class, this 8.30 class at a gym. And we didn't really know what to expect, but oh my God, when we were there and we were dancing, it was so amazing. You're literally, all the lights are off and there's just these flashing lights and you're listening to, the, you're listening to your favorite music so loud and you're just having an amazing time and it's just girls and no one's judging you so right at that moment I figured why don't I do one of these classes over here in Port St. Lucie for all the women here like it is such an amazing experience I want everyone over here to feel the same way I did so I spoke to Vanessa and Casey and they both agreed with me like this is an amazing idea let's do it over here for everyone in Port St. Lucie because there's nothing to do in Port St. Lucie if any of you who are watching this do not live here, you would you would understand. But those of you who do live here, you know what I'm talking about. All there is to do here is go to the movies, go to your friend's house, or I don't know, go to the park or super play. Oh wow, so fun. Or Tutti Fruity, excuse me. And so I figure why did why don't we just create this class for just girls and women of all ages to come and dance and burn calories at the same time. That's one of my main reasons for it but our main purpose for this class is for women to come out of here feeling beautiful sexy strong independent we want you to come out of here feeling empowered that you are capable of doing these dance moves that you thought you were never going to ever do when you come to the class you understand what i'm talking about so and that's pretty much why we call it the fierce workout because we want women to feel fierce we want you to feel like beyonce we want you to feel awesome sexy because that's how I felt when I left the vixen workout which is what which is what it was called the class we went to over there in Miami and I just was inspired by them to create one here I'm not copying them I just want everyone to know that I'm inspired by them to do this type of workout for women it is one of the most amazing ideas I think anyone has ever created so I'm so excited to really begin this process with all of the women in Port St. Lucie and I hope you all come because you will be burning about an average of 800 to 1,000 calories. You are in an enclosed room. All the lights are off and you have just flashing lights, disco ball we have, and music that is the latest music. We have a lot of Beyonce because I love Beyonce. I'm going to play her. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm obsessed. But anyways, and we want you all to come in with crop tops. But so I know some of you do not like crop tops, so we want you to come in in tank tops, and we just want you to come feeling sexy, your leggings. We don't want everyone to come in as they're going to the gym with sneakers and a big sweater and sweatpants. We want you to come in feeling sexy. Come in heels. I teach with my heels on, but I do also teach with my combat boots or sneaker wedges. It pretty much just depends on what's more comfortable for you when you're dancing. For me, I love dancing with my heels. I feel like you get a better workout in your legs and your calf muscles when you come out of there. Burn, girl, they burn, but it's like the best burn ever in my way. I feel that I actually did something, <laughs> so it feels awesome. And it was, it's just an amazing experience. I really hope you all come. And we want women to, and the reason for this, if you see above, it's a makeup tutorial, is because we want women to come in here with makeup on. We're not saying to come in all decked out with all your glamorous makeup. We want you just to come in makeup because we want you to feel pretty. And that's what makeup does for you. It enhances your beauty and you feel more beautiful. And um, another thing we want you to come in with is red lipstick. And we chose red lipstick because I feel when I wear red lipstick, I just feel classic, like amazing, I feel beautiful. And so we want everyone to come in with that same feeling. 
And red lipstick is something you do not normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. So we said on our workout, this is your time to feel, do something different, to get out of your comfort zone. So wear that bright lipstick that's going to make you feel sexy and that you're not going to wear every single day. This is your time to do it. So I really hope those of you who are interested in coming to our class come. It is only $5 and it is just, you will not regret it. It is amazing time so if you're interested in coming you can just comment below or follow at fierce workout on instagram or at mvk beauty on instagram because we will be posting our next classes our dates and um there's a link on our bio where you can rsvp so i hope you all come and if you want to keep watching i will i do have a makeup video makeup tutorial next and it's pretty much just a look that we want all of you to come in with and it's as simple with some eyeliner and red lipstick so i really hope you enjoy the rest of this video and if you don't thank you for watching and listening to me i know i have i know i talk fast i'm sorry i'm cuban but i really hope you come to our class and i'll see you all next time bye So right now I'm just pulling up my hair just so it's out of my face while I'm doing my makeup. It's pretty much in a high ponytail just so we don't get it all over our face. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm going to get my cream. It's from Olay. I like to apply this on my face first just because my skin is so dry right now. I really had to do this before anything. So you just want to get it all over. I'm pretty much there to where I'm typically dry right under my eyes. And then I'm going to grab some chapstick. It's French Vanilla from EOS or EOS, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to apply that on my lips. And now I'm going to start working on my eyes. I'm using an e.l.f. concealer to prime my eyes. I know it's kind of weird to use a concealer, but it's bright enough and it really holds my um, eyeshadow in. So I'm just blending it all into my eyelid. And then I'm going to get this champagne beigey color. It's pretty much the same color as my skin on a Sigma E55 brush. And then just kind of apply it all over my lid. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to grab the second color under it. With using a fluffy brush, an E40 brush from Sigma. And just applying it all into my crease. It's kind of just two shades darker than my skin tone. We don't want to do anything crazy here. So just get that all into your crease and blend, blend, and blend it all in. That is the key to this look. And now I'm going to grab a darker color. It's pretty much like a burnt brown. That's how I like to call it. And just really work it into your crease just so it gets darker. And just to add a little more depth into your eye. And so you're just going to keep working that in and blend and blend. Okay, so now we're going to get this goldish yellow color with a E35, I believe. It's just a more precise blending brush and get it right into your crease. This is going to just enhance it and add a little more pop. It is not necessary for it, but I just like to add a little more. And then now I'm going to go back in with the E55 and just highlight under my brow bones using just a white color that's in this palette. I am using BH Cosmetics. And I will list everything below. Okay, so now I'm just going to get a pencil liner. So it's from Ulta. And it's going to go right over my eyelid. This is not anything specific. I'm just applying it right there because you will be smudging it all out. So just get it right on your eye. Okay, and now I'm going to use this gray color with a smudge brush from Sephora. It's pretty much just a gray color, and you're just going to smudge it all out. This is going to make it a smoky effect. And you're just going to do the same to the other eye once you're done. And now that we're done um, smudging out the eyeliner, I'm going to use a liquid gel liner. And I'm just going to wing out my eyes. So you just want to have your eye open and just do the wing right there. And then close your eye and just work it down into your eye. And I got a little cream there. I don't know what happened, but sorry. <laughs> so we're going to do the same to the other eye and then just wing it out. And now that we're done with the eyeliner, I'm going to use my favorite mascara at the moment. It is CoverGirl's Bombshell Mascara, I believe. It's a two-in-one. So right now I'm starting off with the one and then I'm going in with the two. You guys know how to apply mascara. That's why it's going so quick. 
So just put as many coats as you want. And I like to get a empty one, an empty mascara, and just comb out my lashes. And then just curl them up and bam, bam they're awesome. Okay, and now when we're done with our mascara, I'm going to go back in with the eyeliner and just work on my waterline and just line it up. When you put eyeliner on your waterline, it just adds more definition to your eyes and really makes your color stand out more. So I really enjoy putting um, eyeliner right on my waterline. So I'm just going to repeat on the other eye. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're going to work in our eyebrows. This is not necessary. I just like to fill them in because I enjoy working with my eyebrows. So I'm going to use I'm using an Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Brunette. And I'm just pretty much going with the pencil and just filling in the little bald spots I have. That's what I call them. And then using the spoolie and just combing it all out the color. And now I'm going to work on foundation. You do not have to use foundation at the workout. You can use BB cream. I use BB cream, but I just wanted to do foundation for those of you who are found foundation lovers like me. So I'm using a F80 brush from Sigma, my holy girl brush, my favorite. And now I'm going to do eyeliner. You do not have to do eyeliner. I'm just doing everything that you can do. I'm using a beauty blender and just going right under my eyes. I am using NARS, the vanilla color. And now I'm using a translucent powder from CoverGirl with a mixture of Olay in it. I really enjoy this powder because it is so soft and it really keeps my skin hydrated while I'm dancing. So I just like to do that. And then I'm using my favorite blush from um, Tarte, I believe, yes, Tarte, and the color Blissful with a angled brush from Sonia Kush. I'm just going to apply it right on my cheekbones. And now it's time for the red lipstick. I'm using Max um, Lip Pencil. I believe lip pencils last longer than lipsticks, so I invest in these more. So I'm just going to line up my lips and just touch them together and just keep filling them in. This is going to last all night. I promise you, Mac does. It is worth it. I promise. So I'm just going to keep filling it in. And this is not necessary. The next part, I'm going to use a Tarte lip balm it is a red color i do not know the name but i will list it below and just apply it on my lips so now you're done and i hope you enjoyed watching this video bye